I grew up in a small town outside of uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, we had uh, six kids in the family, uh, so it was always crowded, but we were always together uh, as a family. It was a wonderful place to grow up. And I attended Catholic schools. Yes, I went to Catholic grade school, Catholic high school, Catholic college at John Carroll, and uh, Catholic law school at Duquesne University. So lots of Catholic background there. I remember that happened on a Saturday morning, of course, and you remember hearing the news reports. It, it was just such a shame that this can't happen in a house of worship, and it sure can't happen in Pittsburgh, but indeed it did. Uh, that shook uh, not only the city of Pittsburgh, but I think the world. It was the worst anti-Semitic event that's happened in the whole United States ever, and still is. They were conducting a search for a permanent executive director at the time, but they were encouraged to get someone in now to help you, to try to handle the business interruption insurance, the damages claims, all the donations that were coming in. So I got a call in January of this year, and they asked, would you be interested in doing this? And I said, well, tell me more. It was a very difficult job. There was a lot of money coming in, and I just felt having someone like Bill, who has a legal background, and also understands finance. It's just good to have somebody who can get, kind of get at all the nuances of the things that might happen. And then really importantly, there had to be some ethical issues that would come up. And you know, what's the best way to handle things like when a family of the survivors wants to get in the synagogue? What's the best way to treat them? You know, and this gets into ethics because you really have to think, you know, the moral, you know, the morals of how you treat someone coming into that facility and that environment. You have to be very careful. And I was like, there's nobody better to do it than him. My first response when I got the call was, I'm not of the faith. And they said, we don't care, we need help and we need it now. You know, he went in probably fearful, you know, or concerned, I'll use the word concerned, about how it would pan out. It was an unknown. I don't know their culture, I don't know the Hebrew language, I don't know their holy days. I never thought that I'd be a part of that. And when that call came, I was quite surprised. But I also thought, here's an opportunity. Uh, to contribute to a community where you might be able to move the needle just a little bit. We uh, read an awful lot about the Tree of Life events and what had happened, uh, but we hadn't seen them up close. Uh, people were not allowed in the Tree of Life synagogue uh, because it wasn't a prayerful place. It was a crime scene. You see all the sadness. You see the pews that are taken out of the sanctuary. You see the bullet holes uh, that riddle uh, the entire synagogue. You see a prayer book that has a bullet hole through it and you realize this was a terrible anti-Semitic event happening in a house of worship in the United States and in the city of Pittsburgh where this should never occur. Yeah, so I was very, very honored. It was quite, quite an assignment. And you know, dealing with the finances, dealing with the legal stuff, dealing with people, I knew that very quickly that was not going to be hard for him. That, that was going to be easy because it's stuff he's all done before. The trickier part was just dealing with the kind of, the, maybe the uh, kind of the emotional side. I think that had to be very difficult. The word that, I guess the word that keeps coming back is uh, faith. He's a man of deep faith. So then while I was there, there was a shooting in Christchurch, New Zealand. When that shooting occurred, the Jews in Pittsburgh wanted to be good to the Muslims. And they sent over $660,000 to the Muslim community in Christchurch. That's amazing. At the same time, they wanted to hold a meeting at the uh, Islamic Center of Pittsburgh. And I was asked to go to that meeting and represent the Jews. So here's the Irish Catholic with my shoes off in the mosque, my yarmulke on my head, and I'm representing the Jews with the Muslims. Yeah, it doesn't get more ecumenical. Yeah. <laughs> He's always amazed at how things happen to him in his life. I mean, he knows that he works hard, but he also knows that serendipity has been part of his life. And, and he'll say things like, you know, they made me the CIO. I was, I was an attorney and they made me CIO. He says, He's always like, how about that? And the smile comes over his face. He still has the wonder and awe of a child when he says those things. I mean, I'm a member of the Jewish community here in Pittsburgh, and I could think of nobody better to do what had to be done and help Tree of Life get back on its feet than Bill O'Rourke. But you really get an opportunity in your life periodically to jump into those roles, roles where you might not know what's going on, but you have a chance to make an impact. 
and maybe make things just a little bit different and maybe a little bit better in the process. My name is Bill O'Rourke and I'm a proud alum of John Carroll University.